been to qualified RAF firefighters ready to be deployed to the front line at stations worldwide. Before that though, they're passing out parade and for the RAF, the end of a link that dates back to the Second World War. These were the last ever RAF firefighters to pass out at Manston, their training interrupted by the Covid pandemic. The trainees confined to camp for three months in their own family bubble. I think it's been a fantastic day. I think there's been a lot of work uh, dealing with Covid to plan for the day. Uh, and it's a real proud moment for me and I think for everyone that's graduated today, uh, everybody that's taken part in the parade, to celebrate you know, over 100 years of this place being here, it really has been uh, a great ending. Uh, to be able to do something in these difficult times, it's been a real honour and a privilege, I think, for everyone that's been involved. Receiving the Ewan Garwood Memorial Axe for the best performing trainee was 24-year-old James Livings from Wickford in Essex. I always wanted to be in the Air Force since I was a kid. I think most, like most kids, I wanted to be a pilot. And then as I, as I grew up, um, I did some work experience in the Air Force uh, with the Fire Brigade. And that's what sort of got me set on that idea. And um, it took a while, but glad to be here now. Manston was an RAF station on and off from 1916 to 1996. During the Battle of Britain, it was almost destroyed by German bombing. Across the road is this museum telling the story of Manston's wartime history and its pivotal role during Britain's darkest hour. For them too, the RAF's departure marks the end of an era. Obviously we're very sad because it's always been great for the museum to have the military across the road, mainly RAF, but um, we've got some soldiers there now, so that if we want some help, um, they've been pleased to help. Um, they have um, joined in our parades, like the Battle of Britain service. So now it's going to be more difficult for us, um, particularly as the military flying has ceased as well. When I am called to duty, God, wherever flames may rage, for these 16 firefighters, this marks the start of their careers, posted to bases around the country, from Marham to Lossiemouth. Manston itself is staying open for now, home to reservists from 3 PWRR. Its long-term future, though, not yet certain. But for the RAF, this marks the end, their final departure due next March, the end of a century-long association that will not be forgotten. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.